Did you tell people when you quit using cocaine? Yeah, I did, I think. Let me think. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I did. I told them. Well, I got into meetings. I didn't. It was been in my family. You know, my family, a lot of my family, uh, it's in my family. So. The cocaine thing. The drug, just alcohol, yeah. childhood uh, issues, really. A lot of it is more, a lot of my stuff comes from really intimacy disorders. Yeah. Like emo, like uh, connectivity disorders. Um, you know, so, but then whenever anything triggers one of those connectivity disorders, uh, then my, a lot of times it would lead me to doing drugs, you know? So, um, yeah, I, 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 I'm, I just love it. Though. What I love about it is now I get to see, man, I saw a dude yesterday who just got uh, a six-month chip, you know, and the guy... Man, to see somebody whose life has changed, you get to witness it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Miracle. I totally agree. I had with a that. friend call me this morning, right? And we've been friends for years, and we kind of both know that we have some of the same problems. And uh, it was like the first time he like opened up to man, and we're both sitting there just kind of crying on the phone. It was just because when he opened up, it just made me kind of. It just made me feel like I was like I don't know. I just understood him, and it was like I don't know. It was just so important. Well, that's what intimacy that is. Yeah. I, I've always thought that we misread intimacy. We think it's when someone tells the truth about other people. It's very easy to tell the truth about other people. It's only when someone tells the truth about himself. It's only when you admit who mm. you really are to someone else that you have intimacy. That's the measure of intimacy. If you're willing to tell someone who you really are, you are intimate with that person and vice versa. And that's totally the key. So if you want to know how many truly close relationships do I have, that's how you know. How many people am I willing to admit what a schmuck I actually am yeah. to? That's the number. And what I love about 12-step, I've never actually been to 12-step. I've only heard about it. Actually, I, went, I was at Russell Brand's house in the summer, and he had a meeting, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Hilarious so go to people. One. Was it? I didn't stay for it. I had to leave, but they were. Come on, One guy. of the guys was smoking, which I love, and um, just old school. <laughs> And and they were anyway, but but I love the twelve step thing because you just like it, as with Christianity, which I also like. You admit right away that you are powerless. Yeah, exactly. You're not in control. Your life's unmanageable. That's a nice word that they use a lot because it's like sometimes people are like, man, I'm not powerless, but I'll be like, you know, things are unmanageable for me. The way that they phrased everything, it was just really articulate. 